Well, good morning and welcome to In the Kitchen with Chef Yaki. Well, good morning. This is Chef Yaki coming to you from out there somewhere. And welcome to this cooking lesson today. I've uh, been traveling all over the place. I'm also known as Dr. Jamie. I've traveled the world to different places, mostly to Israel. That's why they call me Chef Yaki. Been there several times. But what I like to talk to you today about is my mother's beautiful pinwheel peanut butter candy. You know, I've been looking for this recipe for years and I haven't been able to find it. Then it just hit me that I needed to do it and I found it. I'm staying with my younger brother who I've been helping uh, overcome some sickness that he's had. And it just hit me, I gotta do it. So this is coming from R.D. Louis, Almost Kosher Kitchen. So first thing that I am gonna show you is how to make it with potatoes and peanut butter. So hang in here and we're gonna go right to it. At the end of this, I'm gonna tell you what I had to do to adjust the this particular recipe to make it Maybe some people would even think it was better. But again, this is the first time I've made my mother's pinwheel peanut butter candy in almost 50 years. She used to make it. It's been over 60 years since I've had it at home. So we'll look at that next. Hi, this is Chef Yaki. I'm showing you how to do perfect mashed potatoes. But first of all, you got to get russet potatoes and they need to be uh, peeled and then you get uh, cut them all in the equal amounts, equal size so that when they cook, they'll cook evenly. Put a little bit of that, I use Himalayan salt in the water and I use filtered water. I'll show you the filter I use. I use this filter here and it makes filtered water without any fluoride or anything in it at all. And then I spin the water to make it uh, so that it actually is restructured. If you want to know more about that, I'll show you later. So what I do is heat this up till it's just barely below, just barely bubbling and simmering and building a little on top until it cooks them through. So I'll do that and then I'll get back to you the next step. Okay, we're at a stage where it's, you don't want the water to be boiling, rolling. You want it to be really, really slow, bubbling. And it will usually form, and I use the structured water and uh, the filtered water, and usually you get some uh, white foam from the potatoes on top from the russets. But I'm not showing that right now, but I'm going to go ahead and see. Yeah, they're getting real close. I'm going to start taking these out. You don't want them to get too hard, so I'm going to take some out. And then we will go to mashing them. Okay. There we go, got them all out. So you want to use about two, about a tablespoon and a half to two to the potatoes that I have. I use the Amish rolled butter that's all natural. Has, uh, it's pretty organic. If you can find it, it's the best butter you can buy. Now I'm going to go over here and show you the potatoes. We're just going to crush them and then we're going to mash them. The only masher to ever use is this s -mash. The S mash. If you don't have one, you can go find one. That's the best way. If you use those others that have the little holes in them, and you punch them, it doesn't give you the perfect texture at the end. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to go ahead and put the butter in. As you can see, about two tablespoons of butter. And I'm going to go ahead and mash that down. And you like to go like counterclockwise is the best. I'm going to set this down so I can... That's the texture you want. You go around, all the way around, at least two to three times. Now, you'll take and put your milk, about a 
Not much, about a third to a half a cup. You want to make them real fluffy. Now that's the texture you want to have. And just to make sure they're perfect mashed potatoes, the world's perfect. Mmm, they are perfect. So what I'm going to do is put this in the refrigerator and cool it down. Then I'm going to add the rest of the ingredients. What you want to have is a good peanut butter. I use organic to nature's choice here. And I'm just going to put it, I'm going to put it in this pan, which is a part of my salad master cookware, the best you can get. Then I'm going to use the water that I use to cook the potatoes and, and just let it warm up so it spreads real easily when the nether is ready. That's what it looks like. It's in a, got the water underneath and the peanut butter to warm it up. A lot of people recommend doing the microwave. I believe that the microwave is a death item. It will actually change the molecular structure of your, whatever you're doing to put in it. It's a death trap. So I did an experiment with a couple of my daughters. We planted a couple of plants and put regular water on one and micro, microwave water on the other. Guess what happened? You're right, one died. And it wasn't the one with the regular water. It really changes the molecular structure. Now, this is <coughs> stainless steel, triple layered, uh, waterless uh, cookware, and it's uh, it's some of the best you can get in the whole world. I used to sell it, and uh, still do. If you're interested, I can tell you how you can get some. Okay, I'm going to put the potatoes in the refrigerator and get them cold. Heat a few. Get the rest of them cold, don't need a whole lot. Then we'll add the sugar, the powdered sugar, and vanilla, and we'll roll it out and we'll have a wheel of peanut butter candy. Hi, this is Chef Yaki. I just want to let you know that what happened with the pinwheel peanut butter candy is I actually brought the potatoes out and rolled them out between two pieces of parchment paper real thin with an old wooden roller. And then I put the peanut butter on top and rolled them up. But the problem was that I had run into that was too liquefied. When I put two pounds of confectionery sugar with those potatoes, added one tablespoon of vanilla, it just liquefied it where it wouldn't make a dough. So I added some uh, coconut flour and also some coconut flakes, made it into a dough and rolled it out. The dough worked fine, it rolled, it did good, but I'm not 100% satisfied. So I kind of sent that out to the galaxy to share it with the other gods and they gave me a free ride into the galaxy, into the quantum world where I am right now. And the gods love the candy. Now it's, it's out of this world candy, but I will be showing you the end results in the next episode. So if you like my video, Click on like and also click the bell so you can get them when I do another one. And Chef Yaki, Dr. Jamie will bring that one. Remember, you can go down below and in the, in the description I'll have the information about the waterless cookware, about some of my websites that you can go visit some of the things that I'm doing and enjoy. So it's really nice to be with you and remember that life only comes once. So let's live it to the best and let's go to the other side, outer space, the other world. Talk to you soon. That's all, folks.